Welcome back and happy Thanksgiving. Now it's that time of the year where we normally fish out our to-go plates from retirement in the jars and let them take center stage. But this year, let's make our own dish for once. One teaspoon rosemary, quarter cup of red wine vinegar, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, three cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of oregano, quarter cup truffle oil, one teaspoon of ground cumin, two tablespoons honey, one lemon, some rosemary for garnish, a bunch of mint leaves, some salt, pepper, and about a pound of lamb chops. We're gonna start off with our garlic. This will be the only thing we'll really have to prep besides the lamb. I'm trying to make things a little easy for this Thanksgiving, you know? Once that's done, we're gonna cut our lamb chops into lamb chops. Then in a bowl, add the truffle oil and cayenne pepper and mix it together a little before adding in our red wine vinegar, oregano, our rosemary, and two minced garlic cloves. Season with salt and pepper and mix it all in. This will be our marinade for the lamb. Put the lamb and his buddies in a plastic Ziploc bag and refrigerate overnight. If, or if you're in a rush, just let it marinate for at least 30 minutes to an hour at room temperature. In a mortar, add the last garlic clove with some mint and olive oil and keep pounding it till it forms a paste. At this point, add more mint till you've exhausted your stash and your pesto looks like this. Add that pesto to a bowl along with your ground cumin and your honey. Add a full squeeze of your lemon, careful not to get on the table like I did. Add a quarter cup of water to the equation and mix it all in. Once that's done, taste it. And if you don't like it, throw it in the trash and start over. You got time. In a medium to large size skillet with some oil, add in your lamb chops over medium heat, three to five minutes for medium rare on both sides, and just a little bit longer if you like it almost rubbery-like. Season generously with salt and pepper and flip when the allotted time is up. Just remember to let your meat rest a little before digging in once you take it off the stove. Start with the thicker part of your sauce for the plating, then fill out the other parts of it with the lighter side. Then attempt, no matter how many times it takes, to stand the lamb with the rosemary in between like they do in all the fancy gourmet restaurants. Then once you get it to set up, go ahead and take a picture. You deserve it. There you have it. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see the trail for this episode. We actually don't have a trailer for this episode because it's Thanksgiving. But if you want to see more episodes, go ahead and click over there, over there, whichever way it is on screen. I kind of forgot. Um, happy Thanksgiving.